uh hi everyone uh, so today i'm going to discuss an algorithm in communication networks uh, which is a broadcast incremental power algorithm which is also known as bip uh bip algorithm is an extended version of prim's algorithm basically in prim's algorithm what uh, we will do is we'll find the minimum spanning tree so that uh, we can reach each and every node in a graph uh, with minimum total cost uh, possible so similarly in the bip algorithm we will do the same but the main uh, key difference is that once we reach a node b from node a will subtract the distance that is covered from node a to node b from all the other uh, vertices that are connected to a so uh, maybe it is a little confusing uh, i'll explain that with an example here so uh, consider uh, this is my graph and i have to calculate the minimum power that has to be supplied for this entire graph using a bip algorithm uh, basically so uh, here i'll start from this vertex s so this is my source node so uh, from this source node i'll check what is the minimum uh, distance that is needed to travel to another edge so here the minimum distance that is required is 1 uh, and i can travel from s to b so what i will do is i'll travel s to b i'll include this b into my mst and now as i have used one unit of power from s to b i'll add one unit of power to s and i'll update the values for the vertices of like uh, for another edges of s by subtracting it with 1 that means uh, that is 9 and this will be 4 and this will be 2 so these are the updated values and it can be shown here like this so i used one unit of power from s to b and now i have updated the values for the remaining vertices now s and b are in my mst so i can choose any of the edge that is minimum Uh, in between these two uh, nodes so the minimum node that is possible from uh, the minimum edge uh, cost that is possible from b is 3 and the minimum edge that is possible from s is 2 so i'll include this edge and i'll update my mst by including it with c and as i'm using again two units of power from s i'll update this value to 3 and i'll update uh, the vertices cost to 2 and 7 that is like this yeah so now i can choose the edges from s b or c uh, so the minimum cost is 1 here from c to d so i'll update uh, this i mean i'll take this edge and i'll include d in uh, not d into my mst done and i'll update yeah here i don't have to update these values because b is already included and i don't require it anymore and uh, this is already included so but here as we have used one unit of power c transmits a power of one unit so that can be seen here now the only remaining edge is i mean node is a and it can be reached from s or b from b it is 3 uh, units of power but from a, uh, s it is only 2 units so i'll as this is minimum i'll include a by using this edge so the updated value for source node is 
and a is included into the MST. And now that all the nodes are reached, we here we will stop the uh, process and we will calculate the total power required. So the total power required will be the amount of power that is transmitted from nodes. So from S it is 5 units of power and from C it is 1 unit of power. So in total it is 6 unit of power, units of power that is required to uh, traverse this entire graph. So that is how this BIP algorithm works and I will meet you guys in the next video uh, with the implementation of BIP in the code. Thank you.